Hey guys, B. Haynes here at PrettyPRChick.com. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. So yeah, if you're wondering why I'm rocking this hoodie, this is my hoodie I showed you in my um, Erie County Fair video. I bought this at the fair at the Born in Buffalo booth. And yeah, um, I have to go outside and walk Bentley right after I finish doing this video. And it's kind of chilly, it's late at night. So I already threw my hoodie on, so I'm just going to rock it for this video. Keep it cash. Woohoo! Okay, so into the video, I have something awesome to show you guys. You know that one of my many addictions besides makeup and accessories and sometimes hair products is handmade artisan soap. I freaking love soap. I just really got into it like after joining a couple of groups on Facebook and um, yeah, I just fell in love with handmade soap. So I'm really a fan of like fruity, super yummy like scents that smell like either fruit or like baked goods and stuff like that so i stumbled upon an awesome soap company and it is called royalty soaps they do have a youtube channel um here and they also have an etsy store and a website and i'm gonna link everything below but their website is um royaltysoaps.com and the owner's name is katie she's awesome she's so sweet and at first i thought she was like from britain because her entire soap company and all the themes of her soap and stuff like that it's like really like british and you know it's kind of like royalty themed but no she's actually from the states and she lives down south um but her whole theme the packaging everything is like amazeballs so um, I'm gonna show you like this is how my package came and I just feel like really love like packaging and details and stuff like that so I'm not gonna show you the addresses but my package came like this cute little box and it had like this string around it um, like airmail super cute and then it has a little wax stamp for royalty soaps and then um, my even my shipping or my packing slip rather I took it apart now but it was sealed with this wax stamp and yeah she refers to as like lady or sir if you're a gentleman so I thought that was like super cute and she wrote me like a handmade note and everything I thought that was like an awesome touch I do love you know just people going the extra mile I do love that and great customer service so um yeah so she sent me one of her full-size artisan soaps and then two samples to try out so um the two sample scents she sent me were north and south which looks like this super duper pretty and i just like cut the ends off um just to try them i've been using them mm, for like four or five days so i can give you guys you know like an expert opinion and then this one was called forbidden love that's super pretty too yeah, so I didn't know the details on either of these soaps, like what the top or bottom notes were. So I did look them up on her website. And the North and South, um, this is the first soap in her Hail Britain series. The design scheme was inspired by the popular mini, se mini series North and South. I have seen that on Netflix, but I've never watched it. But it's a beautiful love story about two people from separate parts of England. Hmm, okay. So the pink and butter cream swirls on the bottom of this bar represent Margaret Hale, while the harsh lightning like flashes of blue and black on the top symbolize John Thornton. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I do not know what the scents are in this, but it's, this definitely smells kind of unisex. Like it smells, I don't want to guess. I kind of want to guess and say what's in it, but I would say maybe like bergamot or musk or something, but it definitely seems like unisex. This scent was not exactly what I would normally like um, because I like really fruity or uh, mostly fruity, but sometimes like baked scents. So yeah, I like girly stuff, but this was definitely good. It lathered up really good. It did not melt fast. Um, like I said, I just chopped off a like, little end of it and I used it like mm, at least like four or five days. So definitely cool. And then the... Forbidden Love, um, I was trying to find that on the website as well, but I didn't. Maybe I scrolled past it. I'm not sure, but I didn't find it. Um, but I'm going to say if I had to guess what was in this one, it's definitely citrusy. It smells like maybe grapefruit and I don't know what else, but it smells kind of like pink grapefruit. So Katie, if you're watching this video, then let me know if I'm right, but I definitely smell something really citrusy in it. So this one also could be unisex, but it smells a little girlier. 
than the North and South, but I really like this one. So I think she tried to send me scents that, you know, are pretty universal that everyone could wear. So I definitely like them. As I said, they lather really good. One thing that I do not like about sometimes you'll get um, handmade soap and they'll melt super fast. So I guess it has something to do with like the processing and stuff like that. But um, but yeah, I was super happy with them. And um, they smell pretty fragrant. They weren't like super duper fragrant when I opened them. So I was like, oh, I don't know. But once you like get them wet, the scent like really like permeated in the shower and everything. So I really like that. And now I'll show you the full size, which I did not use because it is so beautiful and I just had to wait to show you on this video, but I cannot wait to open this bad boy up. Oh, <sighs> okay. Look at that. Yes, that is soap. That is not like cake or pastry. This is her black raspberry vanilla soap. So this is the one I picked out on the site because I was like, oh my God, it looks exactly like this on the site. And I was like, I really want to see if this soap looks like that in person. Look at this. It has little gumdrops on the top. Like that is freaking beautiful. And then like, look at the swirling all through it. Oh my God. And I wish you could freaking smell this. This literally smells like a pastry. It smells like a black raspberry freaking tart with like cream on top or something. It smells yummy and delicious. And then um, the description says that black raspberry vanilla is a classic fruity soap that everyone of all ages can enjoy. The smell of fresh raspberries and blackberries blended with a subtle musk and warm vanilla sugar create an alluring fragrance that is possibly edible. Yes, it smells edible. I can't even explain. I wish we had like smell-o-vision because it smells so good. <laughs> um, so you add that to beautiful colors, glycerin, black soap embeds, uh, silky smoothness, and fabulous bubbles, and you have yourself a bath treat that won't soon be forgotten. So, yeah. Inside of this, I can see that it's like wrapped in another layer of plastic. I guess to, like keep it protected and you know keep it all fresh and smelling great um and then the ingredients are coconut oil which is always awesome olive oil castor oil see um seed oil palm oil fragrance coconut milk tussa silk um skin colorants and oxides and then sodium hydroxide which is lye but you do know that all um handmade soap contains lye they have to have lye for the process or whatever so i do know that and water and it's handmade by the duchess of suds yes i would assume that's katie so yeah so their etsy stores on here is royalty soaps that etsy.com oh my freaking goodness i'm not kidding you like and the customer service is great she emailed back and forth with me um and shipped my stuff the same day that i talked to her and i got it like in i don't know like two days or something as i said like she shipped from down south and i live in new york so um, I got it super fast, but I mean like look at that. That is so freaking beautiful I know like I probably won't even want to cut it, but I will because normally what I do is I use the soapy sacks I get them on um eBay if you don't know what they are you can google them or go on eBay and type in soapy soapy sack It's just a mesh sack and you can open it up and you stick like a bar of soap and then you can Like I don't know tighten the thing back up and you use it like a loofah um, so I usually cut my soap in thirds. It makes my soap last way longer and it doesn't like sit in a soap dish or melt or anything like that. And that way I can switch up soaps back and forth because I have like four of them in my shower and then I just keep, you know, switching up different scents. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting some more royalty soaps. She did give me a promo code just for you guys to try out. So, um, if you want to order something from royalty soaps, the promo code is PRCHICK SUB. 20 that is the promo code and you'll get 20 percent off your entire order which is awesome so yeah so i'm definitely going to be ordering some soaps from her this week um because i showed these to my mom and she was like crazy like oh my god why didn't you get me that and her birthday is next week so um i'm definitely going to be placing an order um so i can get my 20 percent off and like stock up because I, I just can't i can't even explain to you I can't even stop smelling it. It smells so freaking good. It smells so freaking good. And I'm like critical of handmade soap. So, yeah. So, I'm definitely going to be cutting open this bad boy tonight. 
when I take my shower. Um, it's been killing me like for a whole week not to crack this open, but I had to show you guys how cute it was in the video. So yeah, again, I'll place the code, promo code below in the description box and all of her links to her Etsy store um, and her YouTube channel. And she also has a Twitter um, and her website. And I also, you know, did I say promo code? Yeah. So I'll make sure I stick the promo code there as well so you can order and you can get 20% off. Woo, woo, woo. And that's pretty special because I don't think she normally does sales um, maybe like once or twice a year. So definitely want to take advantage of it because this will make like awesome gifts. I think I'm going to try to stock up because who would not like that like, you know, in a gift bag or, you know, a gift basket or in their Christmas stocking or whatever. Like, come on, who wouldn't like that? So... Yeah, but she has all types of scents. Like, when you go on her website, you can see how beautiful these soaps are. They're all, like, really decadent looking, and they all have little embellishments on the top. Oh, and she also has, like, soap cupcakes. Dude, it's ridiculous. They look like real cupcakes. So, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be um, getting some more stuff for her. So, thanks so much, Katie, from Royalty Soaps, um, you know, for checking out my channel and for sending me some good stuff to show you guys um yeah so if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section i'll be happy to answer them for you um and as always rate comment and subscribe and if you don't want to wait till the next video then just keep up with me on twitter or facebook or keek or instagram and my name on all of those is pretty pr chick all right guys thanks for watching peace out